Welcome to another episode of Class Haven Farm. So what do we got going on today? Well, today we're going to try to get the John Deere GT262 up and running. A couple weeks ago, I did some troubleshooting on it and uh, ended up having to order some parts. So the parts are in and uh, I got an afternoon where I can get try to get some of this done. I had to move it in here to the carport because it's been raining all day. So let's see if we can't get this thing running and get using it around the property. This is your first time here at the channel. My name is Andy, so welcome. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow us along. So uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a brief segment on this when I did the video on the 790 John Deere walk around. So if you want to see that, I'll put a link to that up here at the top. Um, but this used to be my tractor. Uh, went to my nephew, and then from my nephew went to my brother-in-law. And long story short, I saw it sitting outside and was like, man, what are y'all doing with that? And they were like, nothing. I said, well, I can use that around the property. If anything, just to pull the little trailer around and something so I don't have to start the 790 up all the time. So what I was told was it definitely needed a battery. So we put a new battery in it. That is here. Um, went to try to crank it. Had nothing. So took the air cleaner off. And to take the air cleaner off on these, you just take these little wing nuts off the top. So I pulled the air cleaner off. And shot it with some carburetor cleaner and got it to pop off with the carburetor cleaner. So that told me, okay, I got spark, right? I know, got a new battery in there, so we know we're good with that. I got spark, so it's got to be a fuel issue. So I ended up replacing the fuel filter, which here's the new fuel filter here. Put a new fuel filter in it, went to try to turn it over again, and still nothing. It would go, it would uh, pop off when I would spray it with some carburetor cleaner. Um, but it would not stay running. So I know these old GT uh, series tractors from John Deere, the fuel pumps are notorious for going up. I'd actually already replaced this one maybe seven or eight years ago back when I had it because of the same issue. So, so I went to greenpartstore.com and ordered a new fuel pump from it. So we're going to go ahead and try the fuel pump. I guess what I'll do is I'll pop this breather off. I'll hit it with some carburetor cleaner so you guys can hear what I'm talking about if you're not familiar with what it means when you hear something pop off when you're trying to start it. Um, and again, when you're troubleshooting, that's something you can do. If, uh, if you're trying to figure out if you got spark, obviously you can take the spark plug out and you can try to put it up against something and see if you can get spark that way. Or you can take some... So we'll spray some carburetor cleaner down in here. All right. So that's what it means that it pops off. So we know that when we spray the carburetor cleaner, that we have enough going on here. So I'd already loosened these bolts up when I was trying to troubleshoot everything. So we'll go ahead. These are, uh, I think, eight millimeter bolts or five sixteenths, however you want to whatever size you want to say, because both of them will work. Take this cover off, and this is your fuel pump here. So we'll go ahead and pop the fuel pump off, and we'll put the new one on. And the new one's a Kawasaki. As some of you guys know that have been following me for a while, I always like to use what the manufacturer has. So one thing that I like to do is when I go to put these on, I make sure all the ports, I got three ports here. So I have this line here, this line here, and this line here, and just make sure all that looks correct, which this does. So 10 millimeter bolts, and we'll get this thing off and put the new one on. Moment of truth, I'm gonna zoom you guys in here on the fuel filter so you can watch the fuel uh, come up into the pump. Now I got a funny feeling that even if this does run, I think I'm going to end up having to take this carburetor off and go through it. I'm sure I won't be able to find an OEM carburetor if I, if I needed to get another carburetor, which a lot of times I like to always have a second carburetor on hand because then you can just swap one out and then it gives you time to rebuild your original. So let's see 
what happens now that everything's hooked back up? That sounds pretty good. Hell, I might not have to do anything. guys around it. So running a low idle, that's good. You can tell it's still got some old fuel in it. So what I did there is I ran it. When you flip this lever all the way up, it puts you into the choke. So I put it in the choke feature, see if it would cut it off. It probably would have if I would have left it. I'll tell you what, that's uh, that's pretty good. Fuel pump, battery, fuel filter. Uh, I got a new air filter. I'll put that in. I got a new spark plug, but I don't have my spark plug gapper here. That's uh, down in my toolbox down at my sister's place still. I'm trying to get all that stuff moved up here. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to wrap this thing up. That's good. Because I'll tell you, I was really thinking I was going to need a carburetor for this. Really, really thinking that even if I got it to run, I was going to need a carburetor. You can tell it still has some old gas in it um, just by listening to it. But, uh, you know, typical, typical plastic John Deere hood. It's cracked down at the bottom. It was like that when I had it. Um, but I think this will be a good little tractor for us. So uh, I'll go ahead and get it put back together and hook this thing up to the wagon and drive it around and let you guys see it in action. <laughs> So that's going to wrap it up here. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, like I said, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Follow us along. Uh, I think this little 262, which, you know, I was just thinking about it when I was driving this thing around. In my intro video, this is uh, the tractor that I was using to push snow uh, back at my parents' old house when we were living there for a little bit. And the Lily Tamer, she was little. That was before the Chicken Whisperer came along. So kind of cool when you think about it that this tractor's back and... Uh, because this thing could definitely put some snow. It's got a blade with it, and I would take the suitcase weights and put them on the back. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and use this thing because we just moved the goats onto their next fresh set of pasture down here. I did a little short video on it. I'll zoom in on it for you guys. So there they are there working on all that poison ivy. So I have some bedding down there that I'm going to use this wagon for to uh, get picked up and put in the compost pile and do all that. So as I said, if, uh, if you like this stuff, like, comment, subscribe down below, follow us along. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.